Hello YouTube. I know it's been a while uh, since I've posted or made any content uh, last time. I did. I was reviewing my Can-Am HD9 um, and I am still in love with this side by side. It has been such a help. I added a windshield. I'm looking to add a roof um, this year, but for plowing in the driveway, um, I can plow going uphill, uh, gravel driveway, plow snow, straighten out stone. It has been such a value, but today I'm going to be reviewing a little something different. Um, as you can see, I've there's some grown up fields over here at my grandparents. Uh, I'm reviewing my LS. MT347, we'll get a better picture of it here. Uh, my dad and I split this tractor down the middle. He paid half, I paid half. And um, right now I'm just about to 30 hours and have been doing a lot of mowing. Um, so yeah, I so far am very happy with this thing. So uh, let's get a little further in to the review. So like I said, this is LS MT347's 47 horse tractor. Um, we got it in the hydrostatic. <clears throat> and this has done everything I had hoped it would do. Um, from the intro video, you can kind of see um, my property is, uh, has a lot of hills and pasture fields and with some spots that are a little tricky and so this being four-wheel drive and hydrostatic with these ag tires has been so helpful um, a couple of the, just the little things that i like about this tractor um, it's easy to fuel you can just take your gas can i mean we're you know not very far from the ground there it's easy to lift your five gallon can or whatever you have uh, I think that's a 12 gallon, 10 or 12 gallon tank. Um, I can mow for probably five hours on one tank. Um, we opted with the cab. I initially did not want the cab. My dad did. And now that I've been mowing, it's October now, but I was mowing in uh, July and August when it was really hot. There were tons of bugs and that thing has air conditioning and keeps all the bugs off of you. So it's been super nice. Um, grease zerts galore all over the loader. Um, it's got a six foot bucket on the front. Um, been doing a little bit of dirt work with it and things like that. And it's been so helpful. Uh, we did have our dealer didn't want to pay the $1,200 for the third function valve on the joystick in the cab, but um, for a few hundred bucks, he ran uh, a third function. So if we wanted to get a grapple here in the near future, we could, um, like I said, grease certs galore. It does have the uh, quick attach, the skid steer, skid steer quick attach uh, for all your implements on the front end of the loader. The hood comes up little button there Let me zoom out and then just lift right up and it's hydraulic so it's easy to lift uh, it's very easy to access your battery just in case you know you come out on a cold winter day and it's dead easy to charge and jump um, filter there radiator all the important stuff hard to access or most frequently access stuff is seems to be up front um, see here you can actually this is your radiator in here and there's a little screw you take out here and then this whole screen actually pulls straight out um, <clears throat> so every few hours 
If you're mowing and you've got the AC going, you can tell that it's time to blow your radiator out because the air is not as cold as it should be. So um, that has been super easy and nice. Just come down, lock down. Um, flashers on the front, lights on the front. These are just halogen bulbs. Probably get some different bulbs sometime. Um, windshield wiper here. It came standard with a set of rear remotes, which you can see I have the third function on the loader plugged into this set right here. Um, so yeah, that came standard with the tractor. Uh, a lot of the other uh, bigger brands, those were an upgrade. Uh, this came standard with this tractor. And also <clears throat> these class two um, three points, extendable arms. And I like these, uh, I don't like the turnbuckles as much. These are just a little cotter pin deal and those are easy to adjust. And I've had this thing on and off a couple times and it's been super easy um, to do with those extensions. I'll do a review on this cutter, I guess, maybe some other time. Um, it's a Titan six foot cutter. Uh, you can see windshield washer fluid right there. Honestly, I've not done a whole lot of windshield washing. So, all right, that's just a quick overview on the outside. Um, we'll go ahead and take a peek at the inside. All right, the handles are pretty sturdy. Um, I was a little concerned about that. You can see easy and then to come out, you just press that and it opens the door. Hydraulic. I'm trying to keep this thing as new as I can for as long as I can. Um, so you can see the cardboard is still in, in here, protecting the rubber flooring. And then I still have the plastic on the seat. Um, the seat is adjustable forward and back. And then this little guy tips him back a little bit. Um, four wheel drive engage right here. You just reach down with your hand and push him down. It goes in really easy. Rear differential lock, um, if you're bound up in a spot, need both tires to spin at the same time, you just press down on that while you're moving, and that engages the rear differentials, and then once you let up, um, it disengages the rear differential. Brake, and this little lever here, you can press the brake if that's engaged, or if you pull this little thing out, you can control either or. Um, well, let me get up in here and I'll show you a little more. Starting on the dash, all your turn signals and whatnot here, um, hazard lights, horn, flashers, PTO engage, which is super nice compared to the tractor the, from 1966 that we had been using throttle and then linked pedal so this is evidently a newer feature for ls um it just causes you to when you engage that the harder you push on your pedal just like a car the more rpms and throttle it gives you um, so i have been using that for mowing <clears throat> uh, forward and reverse again the hydrostatic is something that i was not going to go with but my dad kind of talked me into it and i'm super glad <laughs> that we did um i haven't really noticed a whole lot of loss in horsepower it hasn't hindered me from doing anything that we've been wanting to do joystick for the loader and then uh, first second third gear and that's just speed mainly uh, i mow in second gear if i'm cruising on the road just going from point a to point b i'll put it in third if I'm doing any loader work, I'll usually put it in first. Here's the levers for the rear remote. Um, this, uh, or no, I apologize. These are the rear remotes. This is for the three point and here's your draft. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot with this right now. So I'm 
constantly doing something with this, um, moving my PTO up and down, or my three point up and down. This little knob here, you can see if you're mowing and you have a spot that you want your mower to be, you just slide it, block it back in, and then, you know, when you go to lower your three point, uh, it stops right there and you're always matched up to where you want to be. And here is the, uh, my rear remotes. Um, this guy is com pretty much applies constant, uh, hydraulic flow, I guess. Um, so it's not as at, you know, if I push it forward, it doesn't automatically come back to neutral. It's going to stay forward and continue to compress. Like if we had the grapple on this, um, you'd have to push it and then bring it back to get the the movement to stop this guy which the rear or the uh, third function on the loader is attached to if you push him it comes back to neutral when he let off so if i had a log on a grapple it wouldn't bend my grapple up <laughs> um here is a cruise control function uh, if you get to a good speed you like mowing in you can press that and it'll lock it in as cruise and then if I wanted to up it or take it down, um, flashers, windshield washer, and then lights front and back. Um, I did not put a radio in, probably our first service, maybe I will. Um, I've seen some videos online of guys doing it themselves, but um, I'll probably just pay the little bit of money and have put in speakers, air, and over here is your air control. Um, so. Heat and air conditioning, defrost, all that. I mean, it's pretty plain Jane. Um, windows open nicely, lock into place. Here's what I found. Whoops. Rear window, same deal. And it's hydraulic, just opens right up. I pretty much keep these closed when I'm mowing because, as you know, there's debris everywhere and I don't want to get super dusty in here um yeah just nifty things here is the parking brake um it does beep at you you know if your tractor's on you shut it off and don't set the parking brake um it beeps at you and this is actually a nifty thing uh it's a pto neutral so um if you are backed up to your three point or back backed up to your implement and it's just not quite lining up right you can actually put it in flip it back and it puts it in neutral and you can actually turn uh, the pto on the tractor itself um, and if it's in neutral and i came up in here and turned the pto on it wouldn't let anything happen it would keep the shaft from spinning um, so it's kind of a safety thing you know i guess if you have kids around uh, and they were to climb up in here couldn't get wrapped up in it <clears throat> or anything like that seat belt armrests on both sides and um it's got this little roll bar underneath so you can slide it and that that's all the further it goes down but if i want to come down further you know just adjust that uh seat belt like i said and the seat is super comfortable um, like I said, we had a 1966 Massey Ferguson and it was, you were sore. It was a full body workout to mow. Um, so yeah, let me turn it on here <clears throat> so you can see the console firing up there. I'll zoom back in here a little bit. So as you can, as you can see, I'm just about to 30 hours. <laughs> Fires right up. I've not run this uh, in several weeks, and obviously there's no issue starting it up. Um, run the throttle up. And you can see this linked pedal. If I push it, hold it in, and let go. Well probably because I don't have it in gear it's not going to stay on but um, that's the linked pedal the dash is pretty simple um, 
that's what I like. I like things simple, so. Um, yeah, I'll show you some mowing footage. Um, here, as you can see, you know, this stuff is probably, some things are about four foot. Um, I mowed some stuff that was probably closer to five, six foot. Um, little saplings about, you know, that big and no problem. So yeah, well, let's get into some mowing footage. That was about an acre uh, worth of mowing that I did in 35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. Um, as you can see, it cut pretty well. I mean, some of this grass is like grass that's just grown up. And so it's probably a couple feet tall. It was pretty green, um, but it's cut it down very nicely. Uh, so we'll attack this field. It's a little bigger. Um, like I say, this was about an acre here. And found my old deer blind that is no longer useful anymore <laughs> so i found it before it found me and was able to get it out of the way so now um i did one quick wipe off of the um the grill because it had you know obviously stuff against it um but i'll show you now what i do um i just carry my blower with me when i'm brush hogging uh just got a little gas powered steel um, so I carry it with me for moments like this and I'll show you what I do to clean it all out. All right. So got my blower here, um, to take that little, uh, screen out, you obviously raise the hood and I've got the loader up pretty far and then I've turned the wheel to the right. Uh, I've taken just unscrewed with my hand this little screw here and then this guy just slides right out as you can see there's a good amount of debris on it and all that stuff that would normally be in the radiator so i want to set that down here for a second you can see there's still some stuff in there on the radiator so i'm going to fire my blower up here all right i've got my blower fired up one thing the dealer told me, he said, always blow from the back toward the front. So I'm going to get in here as best I can. It's kind of an awkward angle, but I'm just going to blow. That's the one there. Take my blower and kind of blow from the inside. 
inside out up here in the hood. Just to get some of that. this one-handed so it's a little slower and more awkward but you can see it's just got a little groove there groove up here I'm just gonna slide him in match that guy up there like I said doing this one-handed is a little more difficult but Lid is shut, and we're ready to start on the next field. what this screen is catching before stuff gets to the radiator. Down. You can see there is some in there, but this screen does a great job at getting it all out. back up here at the house um, started raining and so I cleaned the tractor up real quick and uh, just blew it off got it put away um, but I uh, mowed roughly uh, four acres today um, and like I said I can't be uh, any happier with this tractor one thing that I failed to mention another uh, little deal that I really liked is the hydraulic lever on the back side of the tractor so you can raise and lower your three-point um, just a lot of very user-friendly uh, little things with this tractor that made it worth its while. So I'm just going to wrap up the season, uh, help my uncle get some things cut, and um, yeah, any questions just feel free to comment below. Thanks. <laughs>